Hello everyone, welcome back to the No Mystery Science channel. Before we start our solution, please subscribe on the channel, like this video and share with your classmates. Now, let's see our problem. All triggers A and B are used to stabilize the crane from overturning when lifting large loads. If loads to be lifted is 3 megagrams, determine the maximum boom angle theta so that the crane does not overturn. The crane has a mass of 5 megagrams and center of mass GC, whereas the boom has a mass of 0.6 megagrams and the center of mass at GB. A quick reminder that 1 megagram is 10 to the third kilograms. Oh, here, a quick reminder. Now, we're going to position our forces. So here, I have the weight of the load. Here, I have the weight of the boom. And then here, I have the weight of the crane. Now, I have my normal force at point B and my normal force at point A. Now, we need to find the maximum boom angle. So when I have this condition to find the maximum boom angle, I know my normal B is virtually zero because when it's almost overturning, the point B loses the contact with the ground and I don't have my normal B anymore. So here we know that our normal B is virtually zero. Now we have our two equations of equilibrium. Sum of forces in Y is equal zero and sum of moments is equal zero. Since we don't have any external X forces, we don't need to use our sum of for forces in X is equal zero. Now, I'm going to apply the sum of moments about point A is equal zero. So now let's find the distance. Here I have two triangles for the boom and the crane. So here I have a big triangle where here is five sine theta and here is 4.5 sine theta, since here is also theta. So now we're going to start with the force, the weight of the crane with a minus sign because I'm going clockwise, times 2.3, sorry, 2.3, that's my distance, plus the weight of the boom times my distance, that's 5 sine theta minus 0 0.7 because we are using A as reference. So here, our A. So this distance here is 0 0.7 as the image shows. Plus the weight of the load times 9.5 sine theta minus 0 0.7 is equal 0. Here, the only unknown is our sine of theta, so we can find our the value of our theta. So here, we have the weight of the boom, that is 0 0.6 times 10 to the third times 9.8 times 5 sine theta minus 0 0.7 plus our load 3 times 10 to the third times 9.8 times our distance 9.5 sine theta minus 0 0.7 is equal our weight of the crane 5 times 10 to the 3 times 9.8 times the distance 2.3. So we can cancel the terms 10 to the 3rd times 9.8 because it appears in all 
the terms, now we have our final equation. We have 0 0.6 times 5 sine theta minus 0 0.7 plus 3 times 9.5 sine of theta minus 0 0.7 is equal here I have 11.5. Here I'm going to have 3 sine theta minus 0 0.42 plus 28.5 sine theta minus 2.1 is equal 11.5. So here I have 31.5 sine theta is equal 14.02. So sine of theta is equal 14.02 over 31.5. So here in our next slide we have theta is equal to any 6.4 degrees. So this is the answer for our maximum theta. And if we apply the sum of forces in y direction is equal to zero, we're going to find our Na is equal to 0 0.6 plus 5 plus 3. So the normal in A before I overturn is 8.6 megagrams. Thank you for watching till the end. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe on the channel. Thank you.